Another patient carefully wheeled into A&E for treatment that could mean the difference between life and death. This is Luton and Dunstable Hospital, one of only a handful across England to have met waiting time targets over Christmas. But even here, staff are stretched. It's at about the limit of what the emergency departments can take. I mean, we're quite lucky here in Luton. We are actually uh, managing to achieve the four-hour target on a regular basis, but there are some quite hairy days when it's, it's close. But I know my colleagues up and down the country are having a really hard time. It's, it's a breaking point. The target is for 95% of patients to be dealt with in four hours, but for the last three months, 92.6% was the average, the worst performance in 10 years. And here is why. Record numbers are turning up, 5% more compared to the same period the year before. But too many hospital wards are already full. So trolley waits, people stuck in A&E while a bed is found, have more than doubled compared to the same three months in 2013. And all this despite £700 million of extra cash from the government to spend on staff and beds. This winter uh, we are expecting around 1,000 extra doctors, 2,000 extra nurses, 2,500 extra beds to be open. So It doesn't appear to have had the impact you wanted though. Well I think you can't predict everything but NHS England has said very clearly that the government has done all that could be expected in, in the circumstances. Yet in the last two days, several hospitals, including this one, Scarborough, have declared major incidents and implemented emergency plans to cope. Often the blockages that back up to A&E aren't under the hospital's direct control. Gaps in social care and council services are a major factor, according to the NHS boss responsible for England's A&Es. We've seen something like a 20% increase in the number of patients who we can't move out into the community, either because there's not a care home available, there's not a social care package for them to go to, and when a system is running as red hot as the NHS has to at this sort of demand time, that becomes a real issue. An issue that impacts hardest at accident and emergency, as patients at Guildford Hospital had witnessed today. It's manic in there. Yeah, yeah, and there seems to be people running around all over the place. The system under strain works brilliantly, but it, but it is under strain. A&E's missing their waiting time targets is not necessarily an indicator that patient care is suffering, but it is a barometer of how well our hospitals are coping, and such a marked slip in standards needs urgent attention.